to address this cancer. One, primary prevention through HPV vaccination and health information and education to reduce high risk se sexual behavior to limit HPV acquisition. Two, secondary prevention consisting of screening, diagnosis, and treatment for pre-cancerous lesions. And three, tertiary prevention when the cancer is at an invasive stage, dealing with treatment and palliative care. The three components need to be implemented within the context of co the country's health systems, benef benefiting from and contributing to the different health systems. Honorable guest of honor, we shall be discussing the HPV vaccination, which needs to be implemented through a multi-sectoral approach, including other ministries and those who are amongst us. WHO recommends that HPV vaccination should be introduced into the national immunization program, and it should not be a parallel system. The country has also previously vaccinated the same age group during measles campaigns without gender bias. However, we are aiming at vaccinating 14-year-old girls through routine immunization. Honorable guests of honor, HPV is the most common viral infection of the reproductive tract and is the cause of a range of conditions in both men and women, including cervical cancer, oropharyngeal and anogenital cancers, and other conditions in men and women. Persistent infection with high-risk HPV types is strongly associated with the development of cervical cancer. Globally, it is estimated that 630,000 new HPV-related cancers occurred in women in 2012, 